everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brenda or also known as Cozyaholic. And for today's video, I am back with another decorating video. We are gonna be decorating our dining room today as well as the little console table right there in the back that you can see. Um, for the dining table, I was kind of debating on what I wanted to do and what season I wanted to go for. Obviously, we're still in spring, but we're also kind of transitioning into summer. Here in Marietta, it's already super, super hot. It doesn't feel like spring anymore, so it's kind of like just a weird time. Um, but I thought this would be like a super cute almost like spring to summer transition So hopefully you guys like it. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with this curtain I actually am using a curtain for the tablecloth because I couldn't find one in the fabric that I wanted but this curtain is actually like the linen fabric that I was going for so I just folded it in half and then I ironed out all of the wrinkles And usually I never put any type of tablecloth on my table, but I really wanted to go for a more like cottagey, almost farmhouse vibe for this area. I do love farmhouse. Usually I don't decorate farmhouse in my home, but I don't know. I was just really feeling it for this area. So I wanted to kind of just mix both of my styles in this dining room. And then right above the tablecloth, I went ahead and added a Lazy Susan. This one I found at Home Goods for $30, which is a huge, huge bargain. And then right on top, I added this beautiful, almost distressed vase from Hobby Lobby. I believe it was $10, so definitely run and get that one. That is a huge deal for sure. And then for the stems, they're also from Hobby Lobby. These specific ones I love. I see a lot of home decorators using these and I finally fell for them. I decided to purchase them and they actually have a couple of really, really long branches. So I went ahead and kind of messed around with it and I wanted to give it a cascading effect on one side. So I just kind of like moved them over to one side of the vase. And then right next to it, I went ahead and added this threshold vase, and it's actually, I think, a planter. Some of you guys were asking about it in my last video, and I think it hasn't made it to the Target website yet, but you could definitely probably find it in stores. And then I also added these beautiful little mini bowls that I found at Target as well. If you watched my decor haul, then you already know where I got these from. Um, I will link that down below for you guys as well if you're interested in watching that video. But I went ahead and added these just for, you know, added decor. You could easily add salt and pepper shakers here, a napkin holder, pretty much anything that you usually use at the dining table. So there's just so many things that you can do with this Lazy Susan, which I think is so fun. And then for the rest, you can easily leave it like this if you'd like. If you don't like decorating with plates and stuff, if you feel like it's a little too staged. I wanted to go the extra mile, so I went ahead and pulled out these black plates. And I decided to go to black just to kind of give it a contrast with all of the bright colors that I had going on here. And then um, I actually ended up adding second plate on top, but really, really weird for me. I usually don't decorate with gray, but I decided to use these gray napkins. I don't know if I'm feeling it or not, but for now, I think it looks cute. And then the concept with the egg. So this is kind of just for placement for you guys, but ideally, I would totally run a Target and get that Magnolia egg holder. Um, or even from, I think House and Home has one, which is so cute. Definitely check that one out as well. But I would totally put like some hard boiled eggs on there for like a dinner. And then those little bowls right there, just to put the little hard boiled egg in there. You can cut it up and put salt and pepper and maybe some salsa in it. 
I think that would be so cute. So this is just kind of an idea for you guys for like, you know, table setting and all that. Um, and then as you can tell, I already added the second plate with the napkin and you could totally add like a little flower on top. Even the baby breath, you could cut up a little branch of that and then put it right on top of the napkin. And then once I was comfortable with the way that the table looked, I went ahead and just cleaned up the entire mess, the mess that I made. I vacuumed the rug and that's pretty much everything that I did for this area. And before we get back to decorating, I wanted to talk about today's sponsor, and that is Lilux. They were super kind enough to send over their cordless hair dryer, and after trying it out, you guys, I will definitely say that this is such a great dupe for the Dyson hair dryer. So do not sleep on this. I think it's amazing. And basically, the hair dryer is a cordless and portable hair dryer. You can carry it wherever you go and use it whenever you want. Perfect for, for example, if you go to the beach and then you have an event afterwards, you can hair dry your hair and take it traveling everywhere. It's just so perfect and so convenient. The blow dryer can also be charged to 80% in 30 minutes and to 100% in 50 minutes. So if you are running on low time, you can charge it super, super quickly. But I will tell you, I have really thick hair and I was able to dry all of my hair with one charge. So it does work very, very well. It is also a low temperature hair care design, so most corded hair dryers have like the lowest heat setting is like 120 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. This one has a constant temperature of 131 degrees Fahrenheit to prevent extreme heat from damaging your hair and it keeps its natural shine, which I can contest to that. It definitely made my hair super shiny. It also has a high speed motor for fast drying. So I think if you guys have, you know, thin to somewhat thick hair, it will definitely give you enough time to dry your hair and it has different settings as well. It has a high and low speed. So either one works. I, I mean, I was at high speed the entire time and I was able to, to dry my, my whole hair in one charge. Anyways, if you guys are interested in checking this out, you can go ahead and use the discount code and link in the description box and you can get 50% off as well. We're also having a giveaway. You can go ahead and check the comments down below for all that information. But anyways, I wanted to thank Lilacs for sending this over and for sponsoring today's video. And let's go ahead and hop right back to our decorating.
All right, and last but not least, I wanted to go ahead and decorate this little console table that I have right in between my formal living room and the dining room. This area, I feel like I'm probably gonna go ahead and get rid of this and find something different, just because I tried to DIY it and strip it and it really <laughs> didn't end up working out. If you guys remember, this guy used to be painted like a dark navy blue, and you can kind of see it looks all right, but I ruined the drawers and now there's like this weird empty awkward space under it so I don't know I'm probably gonna get rid of it but for now um, I'm just having a little bit of trouble styling it I wanted to have two lamps I just haven't found the perfect ones so for now I have the um, vintage black base right next to it then obviously my feels like home de decorating book and then right on top I added a magnifying glass that I found at home goods for $7.99 and that's pretty much everything I did. I ended a tiny little candle. I didn't try too much in this area. I think it's just, just to have something styled, but I definitely need to work on this. And hopefully you guys can see the final result in my home tour, which I know I've been promising forever, but it will be coming up very, very soon. And anyways, I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you in the next one.